One of our goals at Circuit Board Medics is to simplify the removal process of the components we service. This video is for informational purposes only. Circuit Board Medics is not responsible for any damage incurred while removing these items from your vehicle. This video addresses display issues with Video Entertainment Systems, or VES, for the 2007-2012 Dodge Durango, Grand Caravan, Volkswagen Rutan, Chrysler Town & Country, Aspen, and other Chrysler vehicles with VES. Your VES might differ slightly from our instructional video, we are using the Volkswagen Rutan. Common issues found in the video entertainment system for these vehicles are the second row screen is blank or flickers when handled, or the third row screen shows a split screen but no signal as shown here. We recommend replacing the ribbon cable in both of the overhead screens. This video will cover in detail the following steps. Removing the outer housing from your vehicle, removing the circuit board from its housing, and opening the circuit board and replacing the ribbon cable. This is a do-it-yourself project and should take approximately 60 to 90 minutes. These are the tools you will need. A number two Phillips screwdriver, a small slotted screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket or nut driver, a seven millimeter socket or nut driver, small cups or bags to keep screws organized after you remove them, and a trim panel removal tool included in your repair kit. Disconnect the negative lead from your battery before performing any install or removal process on your vehicle. In this section, we will cover how to remove the rear DVD unit. First, pry the end panel off with your hands. There are two tabs holding it in place. Next, remove the center panel. There are six tabs holding it in place. Using the trim panel removal tool included in our repair kit, gently twist and pry to remove the panel. There are two cables attached, so be careful not to let the center panel fall too quickly. After the center panel has been removed, remove the large white plug from the panel and disconnect the smaller gray plug. Then disconnect the large white plug. There is a small tab you need to press while disconnecting. Next, remove the two screws located at the end panel. Finally, remove the two screws holding the center housing in place. In this model, there are two different screw types. Your model vehicle might use different screws. For the first screw, use a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the final screw using a 10 millimeter socket. Make sure to hold the housing with your free hand to keep the housing from falling. In this section, we will cover how to remove the front DVD unit. First, remove the center panel. There are six tabs holding it in place. Using the trim panel removal tool included in our repair kit, gently twist and pry to remove the panel. There is a cable attached so do not let the panel fall too quickly. There is a small tab you need to press while disconnecting the plug. Next, pry the front panel off. There are two tabs holding it in place. For the first tab, use your trim panel removal tool, and for the second, your hands. There is a small wire still attached to the panel, so don't pull on the panel too quickly. Tilt back the panel. 
Remove the screws located at the end panel. For this model vehicle, they are Phillips head screws. Next, remove the five plugs located in the center of the unit. Once the screws are removed, reattach the front panel. There are four plugs connected to the DVD screen and one white plug on the passenger side of the unit. Disconnect the plugs inside the center panel. Tuck the plugs away so that the last two screws are easily accessible. In this model, there are two different screw types. Your model vehicle might use different screws here. For the first screw, use a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the final screw using a 10 mm socket. Make sure to use your free hand on the housing to keep the housing from falling. In this section, we will cover how to remove and install your ribbon cable. If any plugs are still attached, disconnect them and set them to the side. Flip the unit over. Open the screen. Use a 7mm socket to remove the two screws located closest to the screen. And use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws located furthest from the screen. Close the screen and flip the unit back over. Remove the four screws holding the DVD screen unit in place. Place the bracket to the side. Remove the DVD screen unit from the plastic housing and set the housing to the side. Next, remove the six screws on the back of the DVD screen. Remember to keep your screws organized in small bags or cups to assist in the assembly process. There are also two screws to remove on the front of the DVD screen unit. Then remove the two screws on each side holding the hinges in place. Using a small flathead screwdriver, gently twist and pry the back casing off. Be careful not to bend the metal. Instead, pry the metal off the four tabs on the sides of the case.
gently fold the back casing open. There is a ribbon cable attached. This is the ribbon cable that will be replaced. The ribbon cable is secured by two clips. Push the two clips down and be careful not to hit anything else on the circuit board. Once the clips are pressed down, the ribbon cable should easily slide out. If it doesn't, check to see if the clips have been fully pressed down. Set the circuit board aside. Next, open the DVD screen and slide it from its case. The hinges and ribbon cable come off with it. Pry around the screen's case, starting in the center toward one side, using a flathead screwdriver or small pry tool. You might need to apply constant outward pressure on the screen's case while opening. Press the two clips down, holding the ribbon cable in place, and remove the ribbon cable. Insert the replacement ribbon cable into the plug with the silver side facing upward. Press the clips back into the locked position. Reattach the DVD screen casing. Slide the DVD screen back into its case while it's in its open position. Then, close the screen. Attach the new ribbon cable to the other half's plug. Make sure the silver contacts are facing up. Press the two clips down. To reassemble, repeat all the previous steps in reverse. Repair kits are available. To order, visit us at www.circuitboardmedics.com slash ribbon dash cable dash replacement or call 800-547-2049.